Oh, there it goes. Hey guys, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. How are you? We're back again. It's Tuesday, so we're up on spaceships and laser beams. Um, if you give me just two seconds to get going, I'm going to start some shares so we get more people on. And I'm going to introduce you. My girlfriend Erin, who I talk about all the time on live, is here. She's going to help us out. Hopefully we'll get comments today. Um, but if not, Erin's uh, my wingman, wing girl. I'm Hot Gelman. She's Hot Gelman. Rita's and Kelly, who... Hot Gelman. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and um, just give me two seconds. Erin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Oh, interesting. Um, I actually live in the neighborhood here, so it was really far drive for me to come. Um, I'm a teacher. I teach middle school and high school ESE. Um, and I've been friends with April for a very long time. Our husbands were actually college roommates. So, interesting fact. <laughs> Another interesting fact, our sons are the exact same, our oldest sons are the exact same age. They are nine days apart and about four feet in height difference. Yes, I have the short one. And I have the tall one. And one's blonde and one's brunette. But they're both, um, think very highly of themselves. They do. In almost all aspects of their life. They're not lacking in ego. Well, you guys not have met my, you, you've met my oldest. He's the one that, um... He's blonde Gelman for when it's the kid version of the show. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's very interesting how boys seem to have all this confidence and they're so good at everything and girls seem to be the opposite sometimes, so we need some more girl power. <laughs> no lacking in confidence here though. We're good. Not one bit. Okay. Give me two seconds. I'm sorry. Sharing's taking a little Hi, bit Hi Danielle. Longer. I hope I said it right. Hi Danielle! Yay! Danielle's been very excited all day. She messaged me earlier and said she was excited about yeah, the show. So awesome. I'm excited that you're here. And I'm having She's a little so bit She's so excited of... she said it twice. Woohoo! Right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty today. Oh, Facebook. But it's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's fine. So Mike, everyone, cool. anyone that's oh, on here. Cheers, Crystal. Say hey, hi. Noir. Tell us where you're viewing from. You guys, this is Erin. She's a friend of mine. She's the one that I'm always Referring to, she texts me when we have no comments. So. I do, I'm the comment text. Star. She's here to help me. Excuse my huge face here while I read comments. <laughs> oh my gosh, Crystal, cheers. Hi. Hi, Zayad. Hi, Philomena. Oh my god, that's the best name ever. Philomena. So today we're going to do um, Easy Beef Stroganoff. Hi, Nancy. Um, we're going to cook it right here on our little Oh my god, did you change plate? the oil? <gasps> I did. It's orange today, you guys. Oh my god, it's still citrus, but it's orange instead of grapefruit. Baby steps. Baby steps, folks. Okay, hold on. I got two we're more shares to do. We're going to get our cedar wood next. It's going to blow our mind. <laughs> okay, almost there. I'm sorry. So we're going to do an easy beef stroganoff today. Um, I know a lot of people make it with like steak and fancy meats, but I actually make it with ground beef and it's delicious, I promise. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Yesterday, if you tuned in last week, you saw us do, what did we do? On Tuesday, we did- Breakfast on Thursday. Donuts, we did donuts on, we did breakfast all week. We did donuts on Tuesday. The support meal of the day. And on Thursday, we did make ahead breakfast, which we made waffles and um, crescent roll, Breakfast sandwiches. Sorry, guys, this is the last one, I think. I know, Danielle. I didn't think she was going to change it either. I mean, it took some coaxing to get the grapefruit out of there. Or maybe she just <laughs> ran out. No, I did not run bottle. out. I did not run out. I still have a little bit. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a tough change. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. guys, we've talked about it. I am a total creature of habit. And oh, thank you for joining us, guys. If you don't mind hitting subscribe so you um, catch us next time, every time that we come on. Places. And this, I promise, this is the last thing I have to do, and then I will, you, I'll have your full attention, you'll have my full attention. And we're gonna, um, sorry. Why Lawton, so Oklahoma. Nice. Never been to Oklahoma. It makes me want to sing the musical, which I won't do. <laughs> not couple, bar, couple more glasses of wine will get her to sing. I'll us. sing it to my students tomorrow when they're mean. I, I love thinking, cooking shows. Where are you from? We're in Winter Springs, Florida yep. right now. We're just north of Mickey. Okay. Yep. Close to Mickey. So sharing is done. Everyone should be able to see us. Hopefully we've got a decent amount of viewers now. Woohoo! Okay. I'm gonna I have this peace out of and way. calming in mind right now. And there we go. Okay. 
So beef stroganoff is tonight. Sounds mm, real okay. fancy. I'm back. Yay. Woo. Okay, it's good. <laughs> hi guys thanks 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 for your patience hi danielle hi crystal hi sue ellen i'm so glad you're here uh wisconsin drinking wine too yay okay it's a weekday wine kind of night um so we're gonna do easy beef stroganoff it's just a few ingredients it's super 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 easy and i'm even going to give you a trick to make it easier than we're making it tonight if you have to this is my favorite way though hello from north carolina hi stephanie for those of you tuning in for the first time, let me know if it's your first time so we can greet you properly. Um, I mean, I'm going to greet you regardless, but let us know if it's your first time. And if you haven't subscribed, hi Chelsea, hi Crystal, hi Barb. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. It's up, I believe, over here on um, Apple devices. It is up at the top of the comments on Android devices. And hi, Brianne. Hi, Brianne. Hi. I'm sorry, you guys. The writing's a little bit far away from me. Shemeca, I think. Shemeca. Oh, that's a cool name. That's a very cool name. Bamba. Shelby. Oh, I love all these names. Okay. So, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. I'm not sure where you found me. We've shared this into a few pages and groups. So, um, I am. we are on Spaceships and Laser Beams page today. Stephanie from Spaceships and Laser Beams. Thank you. Um, I have an assistant tonight. It's very exciting. Say hi. You'll see my arm every now and then. <laughs> um, Stephanie from Spaceships and Laser Beams has invited me to show up every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern to do this little cooking show. Hi, Samantha. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Brianne. Welcome. Hi, Patrick. Uncle Pat's on. Oh, Uncle Pat. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we're here on Tuesdays from at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and then on my page, Mama Loves Food, which is linked up at the top, um, and they're on Thursdays at 8.30 p.m., and then on Wednesdays, we do three days in a row, it's kind of crazy, uh, on Wednesdays in the afternoon, between three and four, it's a little eh, touch and go because I have five kids, uh, we do kids crafts at Mama Loves Food. So I would love if you hit subscribe and join us, because we share it um, back and forth, so you'll find me... Um, yeah, if you hit subscribe, you should be able to see me. So, I've got my handy dandy hot plate so you guys can see me cook. And we're going to get started with the noodles. Super, super easy. I'm going to grab my cast iron skillet that you guys loved so much last week. Woo! Mine is a, uh, mine's an antique that I got at a, it was either garage sale or an antique shop or a estate sale. Um, but you can get them. Uh, Lodge sells them. They have them at Target. They have them at on Amazon, and I'll have, Erin will put a link to one well, but in the comments in a little bit. My comments are coming up. What's up? My comments are coming up. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. There you go. Oh. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Minor technical difficulty. Anyway, Erin's going to go ahead and post links to things I talk about in the comments, since a lot of you ask where I get things. So, as they go, if you want to know, if you want a link, just pipe up and uh, we'll girl. do that. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Mayor. Hi, Tag, from Pittsburgh, from Texas. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to get some water going in the pan, and we're going to do our egg noodles. I like egg noodles in this recipe, but you can use whatever you want. I like the wide, flat ones. They kind of grab the sauce nicely. So we're going to get our water boiling here, and I've already got it going at a low, 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 low. And see? Do you What's up? Oh, we have another FAQs. Thank you for the reminder, Erin. Okay, so, and I know I'm not in the screen right now. So, hey, actually, Erin, you want to do this for me? Sure. Since you're here, I'm going to get Erin to fill the water up for Hi, me. Erin. <laughs> okay, so just fill it up. We're going to fill this up. The water. whole thing? Um, we're going to fill it up to about here. Okay, so many cups. Yes, a couple cups. Okay, okay so our FAQs. We, there's a, a few things that we get asked a lot. The most frequent one is my sink. Oh, no, I don't use that. Sorry. Our water here north of Orlando tastes like chlorine, so we use the filtered water. Anyway, so the most frequent question I get is about my sink. It is a farm style sink from IKEA. My whole kitchen is IKEA. My island is IKEA. My my whole kitchen is IKEA, really. Um, my other frequently asked question is about my lipstick. It is Maybelline 24. Very persistent. I'm gonna post a link. Yeah, Erin will post links to these things because everyone always wants them. My necklace, 
I bought from Erin, because she's awesome like that. Um, her page is Siren Sisters Elixirs. What else? What else? People like your hair. People like my hair. They do like my hair. There's nothing to tell you about my hair, though. Ooh, sorry. I'm a, I'm a wash and wear girl. And I usually wear the same shirt every week because I'm kind of a creature of habit. You jazzed it up. But I changed it today. This is a Walmart deal. It's cute. <laughs> it's kind of, it's like a sheer a little bit. So. Stop trying to show your bra. Hopefully you can't see my boobies. I keep saying that. I get nervous when I say boobies. <laughs> Danielle says that won't change. No, probably not. Hi from Kissimmee. Oh, hi. You're in our neck of the woods. Good. More? Emerald Springer. Okay, yes. We've got plenty. Okay, so we're going to bring this up to high. And I'm going to scoot this out of the way just a smidge. My plants, yes. Oh, thank you for the reminders. Okay, my plants behind me. Oh, and we've got more this week. Woohoo! Because my mother in law watched last week. You'll remember she was here um, helping me round up the kids. Grandma Mimi. Uh, yeah, Grandma Mimi was here. So she heard me say that I wanted a mint plant and she got me a cute little mint plant. So we have a mint plant, we have an aloe plant, we have a basil plant, and we have green onions. And the green onions are nice because you just get those at the grocery store when you need them for a recipe. And hi Gina, hi Lisa, hi Sarah. Oh, thank you Sarah, that's so sweet. Hi Tracy, hi Charlene from New Zealand, yay! I love it when we get international. I mean you're all wonderful, but it's kind of exciting when we get international people. What's in the jar behind the sink? Oh, okay, the jar behind the sink is dishwasher pellets so my kids don't eat them. The mini trash can is compost. You're so good at this Danielle. Okay so water water is here boiling I don't know if you can see it Woo, for our noodles. We're making easy beef stroganoff tonight and got tired of watching before the show's food even started. I'm sorry you don't have to hang, you don't have to hang around. No one's gonna make you. Okay and then we're gonna get started with our cutting our vegetables. So we're gonna do I'm going to read you the recipe real quick so you know what we're doing and then we'll get started. So we're doing easy beef stroganoff and it calls for one pound of ground beef, one onion, one small sweet yellow onion, eight ounces of mushrooms, 16 ounces of sour cream, two bouillon cubes, and 12 ounces of noodles. And it's super easy but it's really yummy. Wash my hands. I haven't done anything yet. I'm not sure what the issue is. Okay, so that's where we're getting started. And I did wash my hands before the show, but I'll do it again if you want me to. It's not a problem. Okay. So egg noodles here. Water is boiling. I'm going to grab the produce. Oh, and you know what I didn't write down, but we are going to put in garlic. That was silly. Okay. So we've got our produce here, here, and I'll grab my garlic. And I'll wash my hands again for you so you can see it on camera that I do it. But I really, really do it. And even if I didn't, it's my family eating it, not yours, so don't worry. I can't contaminate you through the screen. We're going to use some garlic. Okay. And then, spoon it in. Spectacle of the hand washing. Hi, Maria. Uh, Marie, I'm sorry. Hi, Marie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Danielle. Okay, so we're going to get starting. I want you guys to tell me what shows you're watching. I caught up on Last Man on Earth. I think we've talked about that one before. I'm kind of addicted to it. It doesn't have a great rating, but it's totally goofy, and it's right up my alley. So I'm it's digging good. it. It's good. Except I don't like Kristen Wiig so much. I don't know who that is. She's the actress in it. Like Which the one? wife, I think. Oh, I like her. She drives me nuts. I don't like her. And then, what else did I watch last night? Oh, have you guys watched Catastrophe? I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. I, I literally watched half a season last night in one sitting. Gotham. I haven't tried that one. Um, yeah. I might like it, though, because I like me some Batman. Okay. So I'm going to just do two giant, look at that, big garlic cloves. Okay. And for those of you just tuning in, Please subscribe. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday doing cooking at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And then on Wednesdays, we're doing crafts in the afternoon, in like 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Right now, I'm just waiting for water to boil. We're going to cut up some veggies. We're going <laughs> to brown the beef. will take care of the trolls. <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll get going. I'm going to steal my giant knife. It is in a dirty dishwasher, so I'm going to rinse that real quick. 
with soap. Don't worry. Returned on A and E. Huh. That sounds good. What's that one about? Tell us what returned yeah, is about. Yeah, what's returned about? Hmm. So I'll tell you a funny story about Aaron and Aaron and uh, me. Aaron and I. Mm -hmm. No, Aaron and me. Um, so our, our oldest boys are the same age. They're nine days apart. And we were very good friends. We've been friends since college. We got married around the same time. We got our, our husbands, our best friends. And <clears throat> when we got, we, we both found out we were pregnant right around the same time, obviously, because our kids were due the same time. And for whatever reason, we decided not to tell the other one. And for months, we had planned this, oh, we're going to get together for St. Patrick's Day. Hello. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna go get trashed. We're going to go to the bar. We're going to get a cab. Well, come, Saint Pat come the week before St. Patrick's Day, we both find out we're pregnant. But neither, we don't tell the other one. I still don't know why, but we didn't. And so leading up to St. Patrick's Day, I kept saying to my husband, well, I don't want Aaron to know yet, so... What do I do? And he said, oh, just invite them over anyway. It's no big deal. And uh, so we did, and Erin came over, and obviously I had no idea she was pregnant. So I said, oh, you know, which is so out of character for me at the time. I said, I'm, I'm not going to drink tonight. I'm just going to do a spritzer with, I'm going to do a, a soda water spritzer with some cranberry. And she said, oh, yeah, I'll do that too. And we didn't drink, and we watched a movie or something, and we we sat on the couch. And clearly I drink. <laughs> clearly I drink all the time. Yeah, yeah. We both like a glass of wine. And at the time, before we had kids, we really liked a glass of wine. So yeah, my, as soon as my husband left, I was like, <gasps> she's pregnant! She didn't drink! And I'm sure she did the same thing to her husband. But I think, like, the day later, we came clean, and yeah, we had our babies a week apart. So, that was fun. We bonded over that. We did. Did you guys? Um, what's up? People that have died. So that show on Amy. People uh -huh. that have died from the same city that return and they're the same age as they were when they passed. Oh, I think my husband huh. is watching that show. He said it was good. Is there? There's only one season though, right? I think there is. Huh. Interesting. So we're chopping right now. We're working on easy beef stroganoff. Thank you. Erin says she posted the recipe for us. And you can also find it at the top. I posted it all the way at the top. Um, and right now I'm just cutting up an onion. So it calls for garlic, onion, ground beef, sour cream, and bouillon. It's really, really easy. And then we put it over egg noodles. And it's delicious. I like to serve green beans with it. I actually made uh, sweet sriracha green beans earlier today. They came out so good. Those are going to be on the blog tomorrow I believe maybe one maybe Thursday um, yeah so I'll be serving this for dinner tomorrow night with those yum and uh, yeah that's what we're doing so I'm just working on the onion right now and I'm gonna tell you my secret for not crying with onions is contact lenses when I'm wearing my contact lenses it I don't cry at all Her the minute I take my contact lenses out it's a mess. I heard chewing bread, too. Chewing bread. Erin says chewing bread works. Has anybody tried that one? Do you guys have any tricks for cutting onions? I'd love to hear them. Food. Yes, Abby, food. Hi, Laura. Hi, Ron. How are you guys doing? Tell me where you're from. Tell me if it's your first time watching. Woohoo! I'm going to tell you, I'm, like, not feeling the energy tonight. Not you guys. I mean, you guys are wonderful. I'm so tired, though. I was at house inspections all day for my other job. And it's kind of exhausting. Anyway. So. Three days a week, right? You do this? We do this three days a week, yeah. And for those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Right now we're on Spaceships and Laser Beams page. Stephanie invites me every week to do a cooking show for her. And that's what we're doing here. So we do about an hour, hour and a half of cooking. We're about 20 minutes into it right now, and we're, wait, we're making easy beef stroganoff. We try to keep with, I have heard putting the onion in the freezer works. Oh, that's a neat Ooh. idea. I've never heard of that before. Ooh, make your boyfriend do it. Let's make your it. boyfriend do it. That's smart. That's, that's pretty brilliant. First time watching from Virginia. Hi, Sherry McDonald. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Gaylene. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put those in a bowl. I did a ton of cooking today, so 
A lot of my bowls are dirty, so we're gonna have to do a little hunting. Give me one second. They eat a lot of this in Brazil. Oh yeah? I love Brazil. Huh. Interesting. Okay, we're just gonna use this since my bowls are MIA right now. Hi Jessica, hi Deanna, hi Stephanie. Okay, so right now we've got the water boiling and we just chopped an onion. What's that? It's a good angle. You can see the food. Woo you can see the food. I, I always struggle. We, Aaron and I spent about 10 minutes struggling with the camera again tonight. I'll tell you, I don't know. I feel like I put it in the same place every week and I get a different image every week. And I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I need to like spray paint on my floor where I put it. <laughs> I know that my husband would appreciate that, but you know. Hi, Robin. Hi, Betty. Hi, Pam. Thanks for joining us. You guys, please make sure to hit subscribe so you see us every time we come live. We're on Stephanie's page today, Spaceships and Laser Beams, but I'm also, I am also appear at my own page, Mama Loves Food. And, um, all right, so we've got, this was one small sweet yellow onion. And hi, Pam. This is doo -doo -doo -doo, eight ounces of mushrooms. I'm using Baby Bella's, but you can use whatever kind you like. They were on sale at the grocery store today. I do love a good sale. All right. I'll tell you, if you guys, you guys who live near Publix, ah, uh, the pub pork chops are are bogo right now. I bought all the pork chops, so I'm sorry, Winter Springs, there are no more pork chops for you because I bought them all. Orlando City tumblers also. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. If you're an Orlando City fan, Purvis tumblers, bogo. Okay. Love your cutting board. What kind Thank of cutting you. board? It's like? IKEA. It's an IKEA bamboo cutting board. So. All right, we got. It. All right, I'm just going to give these a, a small chop. My kids will eat onion. I mean, I'm sorry. My kids will eat mushrooms if they're not obviously mushrooms. Um, so we're just going to give these a little chop to disguise them. But if you don't mind mushrooms looking like mushrooms, then by all means, just leave them how they are. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Pam. Hi, Robin. Sorry if I'm repeating your names. I'm just looking up and saying who I see. And guys, you know, we do this twice a week and then we do kids crafts once a week so it's a lot of content so if you guys have suggestions for what you'd like to see please please let me know because um, I do take suggestions and actually last um, last Thursday was a reader suggestion several people said they wanted to see make ahead breakfast so um, that's not why we did that not supposed to wash mushrooms or yes to wash mushrooms you know, I wash my mushrooms. I've read that it doesn't really make a difference. Alton Brown actually did an experiment. Do you guys love Alton Brown? I adore Alton Brown. Um, he did he did an episode on, I think it was Good Eats, about washing mushrooms. And you know, people say if you wash mushrooms rather than brush them, that they'll absorb all the water and you'll get mushy mushrooms. And he actually did one of his little experiments where he proved that mushrooms do not absorb water, so. Posted an article. I watched them. Oh, Erin just posted us an article about it. Yay. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, she's going to post an article. All right. Well, no big deal. Stay on with us. Don't switch over to the article yet. Wait till the end. Then you can post it. Okay, then I will post it. No, you can post it. It's fine. Okay. So we've got our mushrooms and our onions. And then I'm going to do two cloves of garlic. And I'm not sure if the original recipe that I posted calls for it, but we're going to add garlic because I love garlic. It's delicious. And I'm going to get my garlic smasher, which is one of my all-time favorite things ever in the whole world, if I can find it. It's almost always, it's almost always on the clean dish rack because I use it literally every day. So we're going to garlic smash into this. And my water is taking forever to boil, probably because we're watching it. And a watch pot never boils, isn't that but what they salt. say? No, I don't think that's true. I think that's a myth. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you put salt in the water, does it boil faster? I'm nah, it does. Team, I'm, it does. I'm voting no. What? I'm voting no. But you guys tell me. Um, <laughs> Team salt helps the water to boil Hi, faster. Hi, Corey. Hi. I can't see who that is. <laughs> Hi, Tina, Tina, Tina. Girl. Hi, Tina, 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 Tina. Tina to the third. Tina cubed? Tina cubed. Girl, I'm nerdy. <laughs> that was way nerdier than to the third. I'm nerdy. Hey. If you guys watch that YouTube cooking show, Nerdy Nummies, my kids are obsessed with it right now. She's hilarious. She does all, all of her cooking is based on like either video games or oh, fan like that? Joe's, my daughter, my four year old loves it. It's a really cute show. And speaking of YouTube, I, I always upload these videos. Hi, hi Betham, hi Deborah, hi Lisa, hi, hi Tony. Um, 
I upload all these videos to YouTube. So if you missed one or you, or you wanted to check on last week's and it's just too far in the feed from where we are on Facebook, I know sometimes it's hard to find stuff on Facebook. Just type in YouTube slash Mama Loves Food, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S, food, um, and it'll take you to all my videos. So you can see them there. Oh, Aaron's posting it. Woohoo! Aaron's on her game time, man. I'll tell you. It's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. <laughs> okay, so for those of you just tuning in, Aaron is one of my besties. And she's the one, if you've watched before, that when I don't have comments, she texts me so I know that people really are watching. Um, anyway, but she bestie. offered to go ahead and come over today and help me out, which is super exciting because I've never had a helper before. Well, I've had my, <laughs> my five helpers before, but they're not really so much helpful as they are children. <laughs> Hi from Chicago. Hi Randy. This is great. Doesn't cold water boil faster? Yes, actually it does. And I used cold water. It does. Isn't that strange? I think that's such a weird phenomenon, but it does. That has been scientifically proven that cold water boils faster. It is the wine, Randy. It is the wine keeping me on the game. <laughs> I am not drinking wine tonight because I am... Randy, do you know me or anything? <laughs> Weird. So tonight, instead of bouillon, I'm using better than bouillon, which I actually don't think is better than bouillon. I think it's basically the same thing. Um, but it's what I had in my cabinet, so it's what we're using. It was on sale. Not this time. It was on sale a while ago, so I picked it up. So that's what we're using. But you can totally just use regular bullion cubes. And we're almost boiling. And then we gotta wait like 10 minutes. So, you know, usually I have so much to do. What are we doing? Hi, Tina, Tina, Tina. We are making easy beef stroganoff. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hi, Randy. Hi, Christina. Need okay. That so yeah, we're making easy beef stroganoff and we're waiting on our water to boil right. so we can do the egg noodles. What's up? Now everyone keeps asking about the wine, so I'm going to find it on Amazon. Oh, the wine. Okay, I will show you what Aaron is drinking tonight, and I'm wishing I was drinking tonight. I have to work later, so I can't, but that is what Aaron's drinking. Bread and butter Pinot Noir. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's like, it's very light and fruity. I don't know much about wine. April had it on her counter. It was BOGO at Publix last week. That's why so I had it on her counter. You know what I'm going to do, guys? So we can, what, we're 30 minutes into it? Yeah, no, I'm not going to do anything. Okay, sorry, okay. Do you guys have any questions? Let's do the FAQ again. I feel like I'm not on my game tonight. I am exhausted. I'm throwing yeah. you off. I know, Aaron's throwing you off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so my sink, everyone asked about the sink, which is full of dirty dishes, and I apologize for that, um, is Ikea, it is a farm sink. I always get asked, does it stain horribly? Is it hard to keep up? No, it doesn't, it's awesome. I use soft scrub in it like once a week and right now it's really really gross and dirty and I will tomorrow morning put some soft scrub in it and it will be bright white good as new and what else the lipstick. my lipstick is Maybelline uh, the 24-hour stuff hi from Melbourne hi mama K hi Kristen Melbourne, Florida? Hi, Billow. Melbourne Florida or Melbourne Australia um, on the windowsill I have onions basil aloe and mint growing pick up on facebook page i don't know what that means tina i'm sorry um okay i'm gonna scooch out of the frame for one second so i can do something real quick over here and then i will be right back I'm just gonna, yeah. well hello there friends helping april today i'm erin i live in the neighborhood Helping April with her show. Not that she needs help at all. I kind of just kind of wanted to come over here and hang out with April because she's fun. And her show often feels like you're just hanging out in her kitchen, which I'm literally doing today. So mm -hmm. it's actually the truth. This is how you spell me, guys. Mama loves food. I've learned since naming my page. I thought it was such a clever name because I'm a mama and I love food. But I've learned since naming my page is that basically everybody in the world um, spells mama differently. It's like M-A-M-A, M-A-M-M-A, M-O-M-A, M-O-M-M-A, M-O, I don't know. Anyway, like a billion different spellings, so. Fresh pasta would be awesome. Fresh pasta would be awesome, but we're not using that. What kind of onion? I used, um, I used a sweet yellow onion. So that's what we did with that. And we've got our water is almost to a boil. And I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't think this would take so long to boil, or I would have done it on the 
Big stove, but that's okay. You mom. Hmm. You found your sign, April. I did, I found my sign. I don't know where it was, but it cropped up in the kitchen this morning. I don't know, maybe the kids were hiding it. I couldn't find it last week. It's getting a little dirty though. I'm thinking I need to reprint it. It's kind of nasty. Does Erin cook too? Yeah, Erin cooks. Erin's a very good cook. I crash her dinner uh, at least once a week. Yeah. We do. We go her back and forth likes a lot. To grill. Her husband does like to grill. Lots of dogs and burgers and steaks. Yummy, yummy. I cook, I actually cook, <laughs> hi, I actually cook a lot of April's food. <laughs> and it's not rare that I'm sitting at work and wondering what am I going to cook and I'll Google April's site and I'll look it up and then I'll write up texting her, hey, was this was good, right? Like, you like this? And she'll say, I, I blogged about it. And I'm like, oh, okay, and then I'll make it. So a lot of the times our family dinners actually come from April's site, even though she lives down the street. And I've eaten all of her things before. <laughs> They're good. Erin's my taste tester when I when I need a when I need a second opinion because my husband thinks everything tastes no, good. No, what was the mac and cheese thing that I thought was gonna be so? Oh yeah, I made so if you look up curry mac and cheese on my website, it's Aaron, so good. Erin was over the day we made that. I was terrified. And the whole time she was saying, "Oh, I don't know, I don't do curry. I don't think so. This it's looks kind terrible. of adult, and I don't feel like it's a grown up in grown real up. life. And it felt like a very grown up flavor. And so she, I was saying, gross, no. And then all her kids were eating it because they're grown ups. <laughs> um, it's very good, it really is. It, it's so easy to make. For someone who is not an adult in real life um, and likes plain macaroni and cheese, it was legit. So you should look it up. It's what is it? Curry macaroni and Curried cheese. Curried mac and cheese with broccoli. And the Hunger Game soup. Stew, yeah. The I, beg, chicken, I beg for it. It's chicken and uh, sausage like, stew. Any really family emergency in our life? April will bring over Hunger Games soup. And what's awesome about April, she'll bring it over, not in one big pot, she'll bring it over individually frozen. <laughs> so all you have to do is heat it up on a bad day. Try it. It's good. I it's really, good you know, I'm glad you brought that up, Erin, because I love it. April so freezes a lot. I really feel like, well, no, that was, I do freeze a lot. We've got a chest freezer. Um, right, I'm just going to dump this in because we're going to make this happen. Um, I feel like people don't bring meals enough, you know? I, I don't, that but April a, does. That was a thing, like in the 80s, right? You brought a casserole if somebody was having a bad week or if somebody had a death in the family or somebody was sick. You brought but you gotta food. get that Tupperware back now. That's no, a thing. Like, no, you don't. You buy the take and toss and you leave it. Yeah, because I'm not giving up my corn anywhere. No, you don't. Yeah, don't buy it. I don't have any corn anywhere. <laughs> anyway, I think people don't do it enough, so I'm I trying to bring it back trying to bring it back. She brings it back. She brings over food all the time. I do. I bring food to people. And April has sent, cook, like she'll send food in the mail. Like I'm having a bad day and I'll have a cookie from April in the mail. It's true. Like a smiley face cookie. Who does that? April <laughs> does. If she's not your bestie, you should sign up for that. It's pretty good. I'm Erin. Who is who? Hi, Erin over here. Not cooking. This is Erin. This is Erin's April. Erin's drinking, not cooking. <laughs> April's cooking. Um, Aaron and we are, you're, later. it, it this can get a little confusing because we are on Stephanie's page. So Stephanie is Stephanie of Spaceships and Laser Beams. Um, and she invites me once a week on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern to come on and do a quick cooking show. And um, my bestie came over to hang out with me. <laughs> so this is Erin. So, yeah, so we are cooking Easy Beef Stroganoff. And those of you who are new here, you look a lot like... Justin Bieber. Bieber. I get that? that all the time. I look at What it up. is she in? Here. Like, uh, what is she in? Wasn't she in? Um, What's she in? Predator, I think maybe one of those. She's in. She's in like action movies. She's yeah, like the look hot her up. chick in action. I get it action all movie. the time. Um. Yeah. So we're on here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hi, April from April. Thanks. Hi, April. I love your name. Is that billow? My eyes. I got my readers on. Erin's looking good. That's okay. Right. Thanks. How are you doing? I don't know what's happening. You guys, I was so excited about this hot plate last week, and now it's like totally letting me down. Good thing, good thing I'm here for com comic relief. Family ties. Oh, from family ties. Yes, oh, yes, like the yes, mom? Yes, or like a just, girl? No, the, uh, look her up. Go look her up. Probably. You'll see. Okay. Yeah, I get Justine Bateman a lot. I also get the chick from Alien a lot. Which, I also get Topanga. Do you remember Topanga? People tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? Curly hair. She's on a new show now. Is she? It's not 
Boy Meets World, it's like Daughter Meets World. I don't know. Anyway, I yeah, I get Topanga a lot. Oh, she looks like Can a Can we crack. see what Just you prepared? Baby yeah, let me like grab... A <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, so let me, uh, let me grab my other mitt real quick and I'll show you what we're making. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why this top plate is crapping out on me. You look like Justine Bateman in her hottest days. Okay. Watch out. I'm going to scoot this back. So I'm going to scoot the hot plate back so you can see. Sorry, I moved it out of the way so we could cut veggies. There it is. We're just waiting on the pasta. We've got a couple more minutes before it's ready. And I'll tell you, um, those of you who are looking at it and going, it's not boiling. Is she really cooking? I am really cooking. And you actually don't need water to boil to cook pasta. It's ideal, but clearly that's not happening for us tonight. I don't it's know real why. life. Hashtag real life. Hashtag real life, indeed. So, this is easy beef stroganoff. I do it with ground beef. It's really easy to make. And you make a lot of Topanga. My kids love it. You guys think I look like Topanga? I get it all the time, I'm telling you. That's okay. She's cute, right? And if, she, if you don't think so, you don't need to tell me that. So we're going to scoot this a smidge out of the way, but I'll keep it in the frame so, so you can still see it. And we've got our... So, the recipe is super simple. It's sour cream, sweet yellow onion, mushrooms, garlic... Sour, I said sour cream. Oh, and bouillon. And that's it. And ground beef and pasta. And as soon as this finishes cooking, we will get it together. And I apologize. We're, I feel like we're a little slow tonight. And our... Okay. The humor is not slow. The humor is not slow. Well, that's good. That's uh, not. What do you guys think? We don't want to know. <laughs> we're hilarious. That's what they think. Hilarious. <laughs> we got good shtick. What kind of beef? Did you already say that? What's that? What cut of beef? What cut of beef? I'm using, uh, you guys, I'm cheating tonight. I'll show you. I will show you my fancy cut of beef. You ready for this? We went all out for our cut of beef. This is how I do it. And I think it, oh, I think it was my dad who poo-pooed using, whoop, ground chuck um, in beef stroganoff. And then he tasted it and was like, that's good. I'm gonna make that. So, it's good. It really is. I know it's it's the cheap way to do it. It's the easy way to do it. It's the weeknight way to do it. Because let's be real, I have five kids and I cannot afford any other cut of beef um, than ground chuck on a weekday. I just can't. It's not gonna happen. So, we are just about done with these egg noodles. I'm gonna give them about one more minute to soften a little bit more. And then we're gonna drain them and set them aside and we're gonna do our ground beef and then we're gonna do our veggies, and then we're gonna make our sauce. Hi Kelly, how are you? Patrick just joined us again. Patrick, did we bore you? Did you have to leave he us? I probably had to put my children to bed. Let's go. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Patrick's watching Aaron's children. Okay, so that's just about done. I'm gonna grab a strainer. We're gonna strain, and, oh, my strainer's on the counter already. Just okay. okay, so we've got our strainer. gonna strain these noodles. What do you guys do to make sure your noodles are done? Can you throw them against the wall? I just kind of give it. them a little. No, I'm not throwing them against the wall. Those, yeah, those are good. Okay. Is there a child on? I hear a child over there. Who's up? Josie. Josie. Come here, Josie. Come say hi. Josie's up. Seems to be a regular around here. Hi. What are you doing up? Come here. Say hi, Josie. Hi. What are we making? Do you know? Beef stroganoff. Yum. Should right. you be in bed? Why don't you stay here with the air for a minute? I'm going to look at the computer and try and figure out what's going on because something's fuck you. All right, Joe. Ready? Let's chat. Joe, what is your favorite food? Uh, pizza. Pizza? What do you like on your pizza? Uh. Bugs? Pepperoni and cheese. Pepperoni and cheese. What's your favorite thing that mommy makes? What do you like that mommy cooks? Uh, so many things you can't remember. Thinking. You're thinking. What about the pepperoni you can be? Sounds good. I've seen you wolf that down. What do you think? I think we're done. I think they're soft enough? Probably. Okay. We'll take one out to test. Alright. 
Oh, you know what? I got something really cool at the Cracker Barrel. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, for those done. Of you, yeah, done. Good. Okay. So for those of you who love cast iron like me, and I adore cast iron. Did you know it actually adds iron to your food? Look at that. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. See this? Look at that. So my handle stays cool, and I don't have to... I don't have to worry about... What if I lick it first? <laughs> I don't have to worry about burning my hands or manipulating a really difficult. Um, Goodbye. Let me mean it. A really difficult. Uh, with a hot plate thing. Yeah. I that made sense. Good night, Josie. I love you. Okay. Erin, you want to grab me the um, squeezy of olive oil? You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I'm an olive oil girl. I use it in absolutely everything. You don't have to use whatever you like, vegetable oil, butter, butter's good. We use a lot of dairy in this, so it would do just fine. It's right here. And then, thank you. Mm -hmm. Someone's dad throws noodles on the ceiling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do they come down eventually? Does your yes. mom have a fit? I'd have a fit. I'm not going to lie. I'd have a fit if there were noodles all over my ceiling. So I'm just putting a little bit of... Olive oil in there, no specific amount, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan a little bit. Can you guys see what I'm doing? And I'm going to let this get um, back up to temperature so it's sizzling a little. And I've got it on like a medium-high heat. The nice thing about cast iron is it holds the heat after you've had it, after you've heated it up to temperature, it holds it for quite a while. So, all right, okay, so we've got that at the bottom, I'm going to let it go. For those of you just tuning in, we're doing Easy Beef Stroganoff. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. I would love if you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I've got Erin here helping me out today. She's my neighbor and my bestie. And, oh, looks like we're ready. Okay. So, so I'm going to bathe in olive oil if she could afford it. It's good, right? I love it. I love the way it smells, too. I love, do you guys ever, like, drive by Carabas and just open your windows and breathe in the... Delicious Gain. olive oil and garlic smell. Gain 10 pounds from the Amazing. one breath. Okay, so what I'm putting in the pan right now is not what I'm supposed to be putting in because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So that was brilliant. I meant to I meant to do the ground beef first, but that's okay. This is real life, guys. I'm doing it backwards. I'm loving the pampered chef looking items. Oh, you know they're not pampered chef, but I do love pampered chef. I haven't when uh when I. God, what, in the early 2000s? Yep. They were so popular, and I went to a lot of those um, parties. And I used to have a bunch, and I, I gave a lot to my sisters and friends. And I don't want a garlic smasher. I don't have a lot. Oh, I love, are you kidding me? Garlic smashers are the best. Yeah, that one's just from Publix. It's from their, like, end cap. Um, I can look at what brand it is. It's my favorite. Oh, my God, it smells good. We need to smell a Amco. It's an Amco garlic press. I really love it. And you can, yeah. It, what I like about it too is you can do, it's got two slots. So you can do slices or you can do minced. It's okay. yummy. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Woo. Who's my voice? Okay. So we're just doing this. You know what? I totally screwed up. I meant to do the ground beef first. Um, but I'm going to show you how forgiving this recipe is because it doesn't really matter. We're doing this first. Hi Jessica, Jessica, it's so healthy for your skin. It is, it really is, and it's yummy. So that always, that's always good. Okay, so we've got this sizzling away. I'm gonna let it, um, I'm gonna cook it until the mushrooms get a little smaller and the onions go translucent. And I would say I'm gonna cook it till the garlic is fragrant, but let me tell you, it's fragrant. It is good. Okay. I'm just going to do that another second, and then we're going to go ahead and add, actually not, <sighs> forgive me guys, this is so backwards. I meant to put my ground beef in first and then add, I feel like I can smell it. It, uh, You probably can. It is, smells so good. It is filling up my entire kitchen with these yummy smells. Very good. I'm going to grab a spatula. I'm actually going to take this stuff out for a minute after it, um, after it cooks down a little more and do the ground beef. Cause I'm gonna, that, I wanna be able to drain the ground beef um, so it's not super, super oily. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Aaron just wants to be on camera. I'm, I'm gonna grab my water too. too. Alright. It smells amazeballs. For those of you just tuning in, 
I noticed we just got a spike in viewership. So I'm April from Amalos Food. We're making Easy Beef Stroganoff. This is Erin. Uh, from Siren's, down the street. From down the street. She's, if you've watched before, she's the one that helps me with the comments when the comments go dead. She likes to text me and help me out. And she's the one that I bought my um, necklace from. And last week we ran a special for it. This week too. Oh, apparently we're running a special for this week too. Mama loves food. Woo Coupon, Coupon code. code. I'm going to go ahead and, okay, so these are cooked down a little bit. I'm going to show you if you can see. Woo. The onions are translucent. The, uh, the garlic is fragrant. Could it be done in the slow cooker? Um, if you, you know, cooked it first, maybe? if you cooked it first, maybe, but I don't know that that would be, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't, because you need to do browning and you need to, it's so easy though, I mean, you guys, I'm really stretching this out because I'm talking and, um, what you can do is brown this, and this is something I love to do, brown your ground beef, so if you buy, you know, if you buy more than a pound at a time, you usually get a discount when it comes to meat. So buy, buy your ground beef in bulk, cook it up ahead of time with no spices, do it totally plain, and then package it in one pound cooked Tupperware and throw it in your freezer. And in your upright freezer, it'll last, bleh, upright freezer, it'll last six months. And if you've got a chest freezer, it'll last a year or longer. And then when you want to cook, when you want to make something with it, just grab it out and you can Thaw it on the stove top, you can thaw it in the microwave, or if you if you remember, which I never do, but if you remember, if you're better than me, um, <laughs> which I think probably most people are, you can pull it out the night before or even the morning of and stick it on the counter and let it thaw that way. So right now I'm just pulling out um, the majority of these onions and mushrooms. I meant to do this in the opposite order, but I didn't. I screwed up. So, but it worked, you know. It totally worked. And now the meat will absorb all of those flavors. It'll be delicious. I'm not it's worried about it. It's gonna be All the ingredients delicious. are the same. The order is not really super important. Okay. So, I just pulled the onions and garlic and mushrooms out. We're gonna put these aside and we're gonna add them back in in just a second. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Hi, Melissa. Hi, sweet Maya. Okay. So, I've got my one pound of ground chuck. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And I'm going to throw it in my very hot skillet and we're going to brown it up. And then the reason, okay, so let me give you the reason why I normally do the ground beef first is I normally do the ground beef first so I can drain off the excess oil because I don't want it to be super oily. Oops, there we go. That's really the only reason. It's nothing to do with the flavors or anything like that. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt to have done it the other way. Hi, Rachel. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Hi, Jessica. What is being made? We're making a really easy beef stroganoff and we are using ground beef instead of steak because I just don't have the budget for steak. I don't know how many people do during the week. Um, right now we're ground, we're browning the beef. We made it, we boiled egg noodles earlier. So we've got our, we've got our egg noodles already. We are browning the beef. Normally I would brown the beef, drain it, and then, um, saute the veggies, but I accidentally did it backwards because I wasn't paying attention, but no biggie. So that's what we're doing. So right now I'm browning the beef. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Please subscribe if you're on um, an Apple device. It should be up here in the corner. Sometimes it pops up along in the comments. And if you are on Android, scroll to the top of the comments and you can subscribe there. If you are on a Regular computer, I believe it shows up somewhere within the frame of the, so, let's see, where's the frame? There's the frame. Somewhere within the frame of the box. Um, I don't know if it shows up in the comments, but if you pipe up and let me know, um, I can tell people better. So I appreciate that. And I come on every Tuesday and Thursday at, I apologize, this is my connections week. I come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and we do a really simple recipe. This week we're doing, or the, today we're doing easy beef stroganoff. Um, on Thursday we did make ahead breakfasts because I have a really big family. I have five kids and I'm not a morning person so I always like to have make ahead breakfasts whenever possible. Uh, last Tuesday we did cake mix baked donuts. And on Wednesdays we come on during the day or try to. It doesn't always work out. But we try to come on during, I'm sorry, I'm just fussing. I don't know how you let it sit. Um, I try to come on during the day and do kids crafts. So this past week we did Play-Doh, we did no-bake Play-Doh, and the week before we did slime. I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow. So if you have suggestions, if there's something you want to see how to make with your kids, 
uh, let me know because we have not nailed that down yet because I'm not a planner. I'm just not. I'm going to scoot up here and read these comments real quick. I can't find the subscribe button on my iPhone. Oh, Renee, you know. Here, I'm looking. No, I know it's. I'm on my iPhone. Unfortunately, right now, it's still so new that they keep rolling out new things. So sometimes it doesn't show up. So just keep looking in your comments and hopefully it'll show up. Yeah, it's not there. And if you, if you wait till the end of it and come back and look. It should be there on the recorded version. So when this is over, the recorded version will be available on Facebook. And like I was saying earlier, I always the next day, so tomorrow, I will upload this to YouTube. So you can always, if you don't feel like scrolling through a million Facebook posts to find it, you can go to YouTube slash Mama Loves Food, and you'll see all the episodes there. So, and if you do that, thank you. I appreciate it. It's a... Uh, my YouTube page is really, really, really new. There's like maybe six episodes on there, and it's just this stuff. I think I have a couple of really short, really simple, like one of those those recipes where you just do the hands. I have a few of those on there, but mostly it's these. What's the fat to ratio on the beef you're using? Oh, it's the cheap stuff, so it's super fatty, which is why I really <laughs> wanted to, which is why I want to drain it, because <laughs> it's like, I don't know how well you guys can see. I know it's not a super great connection right now. I keep war Facebook keeps warning me. They don't have a great connection, but you can see there's a lot of fat in there, which is why I want to drink it. Because I love fat. Don't get me wrong. Who doesn't? It's tasty, but I don't want it to be like super greasy and oily. We're making an easy beef stroganoff for those who are just turn for those who are just tuning in. Hi Danielle, on my iPhone you have to watch the video till the end to subscribe. Really? Oh, that's disappointing. It didn't used to be that way. I know um, if you guys are familiar with Holly Homer from Kids Activity Vlogs, she's really, really up on the um, Facebook Live thing. And she was actually invited last week to Facebook headquarters to talk to them about Facebook Live and, you know, what we, what we need from them and what they need from us. And... That was one of the things, the kinks they're working out is the subscribe button and trying to make it more accessible and more prominent and, you know, because I want to see you guys every week and I hope you guys want to see me every week. Although I do apologize, I feel like today's episode is a little bit slow. Anyway. Hi Renee, thank you. You're welcome. It's not disappointing. I enjoy watching. Aw, thanks. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad. Okay. So our beef is almost browned. I'm going to let it go just a few more minutes. And yeah. So if you read my blog, oh, and I put a, I put a, a link to the, to the recipe at the blog. So if you want a shortcut to that, it's up at the top. I also put a link to my newsletter. So if you want to sign up for that, every time I, it's not super, it, Sorry, I'm having a moment. It's not super invasive. Every time I have a, a new recipe, it sends you one email that just says, hey, there's a new recipe. If you want to check it out, here's the link. Um, so if you like what we cook and you like what you see, um, go ahead and do that. This, this is almost done. And the one we just did, I just posted, I believe yesterday, was these maple. Oh, that's so good. These are so good, you guys. Maple, um, mm. maple nut clusters ridiculously easy to make it's just maple syrup um, almonds it's almonds I know I was trying to remember what nuts I used almonds walnuts and um, cashews and you can use any nuts you like you could use all of one kind or six of another or whatever um, but I used almonds cashews and walnuts maple syrup um, sesame seeds and unsweetened coconut and it's so easy to make. You just put it together on the stove top and then dry it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And it was delicious. Catherine, you are so sweet. Thank you. Aw. I'll tell you. This smells so good. I love beef. I'm a beef girl. Mm, yum. Okay, so we are totally browned. Yay! Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and drain this because somebody just asked what cut of beef it is. And it's like the cheapest beef you can buy. So it's full of fat. Okay. Oh, I've got the thing on there already. See, look at this. I'm going for a... I already have my handle on here. I got this at Cracker Barrel, and I freaking love it. What is that called? I don't know. It's like a, a cast handle. iron handle thing. Hand handle? Oh, goodness. Okay. Hand so helps if I put a... Cover. Helps if I put a uh, colander in there first, huh? 
It's called a pan handle cover, FYI. Pan handle cover. Okay, so I got my pan handle cover at um, Cracker Barrel, and it's a Lodge brand. Um, so, sorry guys, I used this earlier. I'm just going to rinse it out real quick before we, before we get going. I am not prepared tonight. It's been a long day. I was at house inspections all day for work. And I am tired, you guys. Tell me where you're watching from. Are you from the good old U.S.? Are you from the South? Are you from the North? Tell me where you're from. We are broadcasting from Florida, Orlando area, just north of Orlando, about an hour north of Mickey in a small town called Winter Springs. Uh, okay, so our beef is browned, our veggies are sauteed, and I'm going to throw those veggies back in there. I eat it as I cook it once it starts browning. Yes, it's yes, hard not to it's eat it. Yes, it's so good. So good. I'm a beef girl for sure. Love that you keep it real. Girl, <laughs> hashtag real life. I try to. I don't even try. I just do it. It just happens naturally. Okay. Ohio, Ohio, so we've got Ohio. 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 Lots of Ohio. All right. Aaron's husband is from Ohio. Go Buckeyes, OH. Oh, oh, I think you said oh wait. Yeah, oh H. <laughs> oh H. Okay. Hashtag real life. Whatever. We're Gators fans here. My husband's from Gainesville, so woohoo, go Gators. Not that I watch football, because I don't. But I cook for it. <laughs> That's my favorite part about cook football season is cooking for the games. And I eat and I eat for it for her. <laughs> okay, so we've got our veggies back on. I'm gonna grab the sour cream and we're gonna get going. We're gonna put this thing together. Green onion, that's green onion in the window, right? That is, yeah. So we've got mint, we've got, this is sweet mint, aloe, sweet basil, and um, green onion. Mm -hmm. And that's just green onion from the grocery store. You know, you buy it in a bunch and um, and you use it and then it comes with the roots on it and I just stick the roots in water. What veggies are you using? Okay, I've got, I'm sorry. Oh, it's allergy season here. I'm using... Onion, garlic, mushroom, and that's it. I mean, garlic and mushroom. Okay. Nice. What okay. did you do with the grease? What did I do with the grease? I poured it into, oh, don't tell my husband I poured it in the sink. Um, I mean, I poured it in a can, and I'm going to put it, it outside. It was in a can in the sink. Okay. I'm going to pour my, oh, I'm going to pour my bouillon in first. So it says... Two bullion cubes. So I'm using this. Um, it says it's better than bullion, but honestly, I think it's about the same. Um, but it was on sale, so I got it. So we're going to see what the equivalent of bullion is here. One teaspoon. So one teaspoon is equal to one bullion cube. So you can use bullion cubes, or you can use this, like, bullion-ish stuff. And I'm going to do two teaspoons of it. Oh, so I was going to tell you my little hack. If you don't have time to do all this, which honestly I'm taking way longer than it really takes to do it because I'm fussing around and taking my time, um, you can skip the veggies and you can skip the bouillon and you can do a pound of ground beef, a container of sour cream, and an onion, an onion soup packet, like a Lipton onion soup packet. And it won't be quite the same flavor, but it'll be close enough that it'll be delicious. And you'll like it. Well, I think you'll like it. I like it. Anyway, that's my little hack for the day. So if you don't feel like sauteing veggies and all that fun stuff. I'll tell you, this stuff is like sticky and hard to get out. Okay, it's out. Yay, woo! Okay. So we've got that in there. I'm going to tell you another thing, you know, people say, oh, don't use metal on cast iron. You're not going to hurt your cast iron with a metal spoon. You're just not. These things have been around since before our grandmas, and it's going to be just fine. So I stirred that in, and I'm going to let that sizzle for just one more second while I scoot the air out of the way and do something on the computer really quick. Excuse me, excuse me. I'll take over the very important job of stirring. I will stir this stuff. It's super exciting. This stuff smells really good. The better than bouillon. This stuff. It's very good. 
I don't think I've ever cooked with bouillon because again, that seems like a very grown up ingredient. And like curry, grown up ingredients kind of freak me out. So I'll eat everything April makes, but um, cooking with grown up ingredients, <laughs> not really about that life. All right, guys, let, let's see a show of hands. Do you consider bouillon? Because I would never have considered bouillon um, a grown-up food. Do you consider what? that a grown-up food? A grown-up ingredient. A grown-up ingredient. It totes is. I don't know. I kind of just think of it as an everyday ingredient. But yeah. Hi, Renee. My husband gets mad, too. Yeah, I did. I, you know, I wasn't thinking I should not have done that. That was naughty. That was really naughty. Oops. Sorry, Wes. Okay, so we've just added our ground beef back to our veggies. We've got, so in the pot right now is a pound of ground beef, eight ounces of mushrooms, one sweet yellow onion, and two gigantic garlic cloves. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can't put too much garlic in this. You really can't put too much garlic in anything because garlic is amazing and delicious. So, <laughs> you all right there? Okay. Yeah, I'm choking. Cool. So. Break your mouth. And then we've got the two, the equivalent of two billion cubes. And then I'm just going to throw 16 ounces of regular sour cream. Um, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to plead with you to use the real stuff, guys. Please don't use that low-fat sour cream garbage because it's disgusting. Blech. Can you still see comments? I can't. Um, I think so. Oops, ingredient. What's oops, ingredient? Did I screw up something? Love better than bullion. Very few ingredients in it. Um, yeah, it does seem like there's fewer ingredients in it than the other ones. I'll, I'll give it that. I don't, I don't find that the flavor is significantly better. Maybe it's better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't use bullion very often, and I usually grab that one on sale. So maybe I just haven't used like the cubed stuff in so long that I don't realize that what I'm using is better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so I'm just mixing, 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 mixing. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully, it looks like you can. Okay. And. In the pot, we've got a pound of ground beef. We've got 16 ounces of sour cream. We've got um, one sweet yellow onion, two giant cloves of garlic, and um, eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. And that is our sauce, which is so good. And you could literally just take a spoon and eat it. And I gotta tell you, you guys, I serve this as a dip with chips uh, during football season. I'll do that. That is with the noodles? No, no noodles. Ah. I serve, I just do this. And I'll do, I'll make sure my ground beef is like really, really well ground. And actually I usually do it with the Lipton mix when I do it that way. Um, and then I put it out with a bag of chips and it's really good. But tonight we're going to do it with noodles. So we're going to pour our noodles in slowly. And they're a little sticky. I probably should have kept a little bit of the starchy water in there to loosen it up. But that's okay. Lots of people thinking about making this. It's so good, you guys. And it's really easy. It really is. I know we went slow. We've been on for... A little over an hour um, we took our time and for whatever reason this pot did not want to come to a boil I think it's because there's like a thousand of us watching it so you know a watch pot never boils a watch pot with a thousand people watching it really will never boil so hi Chelsea hi oh hi Danielle thinking about making this tomorrow night please do and then let us know if you make it let us know give us a shout out on Thursday come on back and tell me that you made something and if you want to be super awesome, you could like put it up on Instagram and hashtag it with Mama Loves Food and I will totally see that. And I will get all fangirl on you. I'll be excited. It's like should, should reverse I take, fangirl. Should I use the word hashtag and then hashtag? Or do I could just use and then I put the hashtag as Because I'm a Do I spell use hashtag and then put a hashtag? Or do I just put use? Just use hashtag Mama Loves Food. Girl, I got to get up with the system. Aaron's having a moment. Hi, Kimberly. Love the dip idea as well. I'm telling you, it's good. It's really good. And yeah, I, when, I, when I do it as a dip, I cheat and I use the onion soup mix, and that's faster. So normally I would use a bigger pan for this, or pot, but um, I was worried that my bigger one wouldn't fit on the little burner we've got going here. No more hamburger helpers, so. someone says. Oh, you don't need, yeah, this it. definitely replaces it. Absolutely. Okay, yep. so the recipe is posted. If you go to the top, sorry, oh God, it's allergy season here. Um, if you go to the top where it says what we're doing, um, there's a rest. There's a link to the recipe. There's also a link to 
um, my Facebook page and there is a link to subscribe to my newsletter. So, and Erin will go ahead and post another link in the comments. Yep. And then we're done, you guys. How Wait, exciting is this? Oh, well, duh, but the recipe for all intents and purposes is done. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and I'm going to take it off the burner because those of you who use cast iron know that it will continue to gain heat and cook and all that fun stuff. So Do you gonna... usually like eat the food once you're done on your show? Because I'm getting our bowls ready. <laughs> we're eating it. We're eating it. Okay. Where's my scooby scoop? Okay. Smells really good. I'll be taking some home. <laughs> Those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We just made easy beef stroganoff. It's only a few ingredients. It's super easy. As someone just said, it replaces hamburger helper. It totally does. It's so easy to do. It's really delicious. It's one of my hubby's favorites. I'm dishing it out for Aaron and I to enjoy. And we'll save some for the kids for tomorrow. It's very Don't comfort worry. food. It is. This is totally comfort food. This is like those of you who are getting snow up in the northeast. Yeah, that's good for that. Perfect for that. We don't have that. Girl, this is a very big helping. Can we talk okay. about <laughs> the helping? <laughs> that's just her. And those of you who are like low carbing it and looking at this going, oh my god, I want it, but I can't do it. Zucchini noodles. Oh, yeah. It's really good at zucchini noodles. Or over um Spaghetti squash, if you guys oh, like spaghetti, yeah, squash. spaghetti squash. And those of you who want to try spaghetti squash but don't want to be bothered cooking it, my aunt taught me how to make spaghetti squash like the easiest way ever. And it's on the blog, but I'll tell you right now. You basically you just you poke holes in it, you put it in the microwave for like 10 minutes, you cook it, and then you put it on your countertop and leave it. You do this in the morning, and then when you come back, it cooks. It continues to cook because it absorbs so much Wait, of the heat. Wait, what do you do? You cook it and then take it out? Yeah, so you, you nuke it for like oh, 10 minutes. Nuke, yeah. You nuke it for like 10 minutes, then you take it out, you put it on the countertop, and then in the evening or afternoon, a few hours later, when you're ready to eat it, you open it up, and it's perfect and ready. Huh. It's the coolest trick ever. So this, this is not a comfort food I grew up with. What is something you grew up eating? What is a comfort food that you guys, what did your, like, what did, what did Diane make for comfort <laughs> foods? My mother wasn't much of a cook. I'm going to tell you, my, my, my personal comfort food is white rice with butter. <laughs> and salt. And salt. A little bit of soy sauce. Ooh. But that, that's an it's adult so ingredient. No, it's not. Soy sauce? That's adult. Soy sauce. Um, I like a grilled cheese. Ooh, grilled cheese is good. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly. I gotta tell you, I love a good peanut butter and jelly. I can't do peanut butter and jelly. It freaks me out. Buttered noodles, also delicious. Buttered noodles. That was an Uncle Patrick favorite mm -hmm. growing up. Buttered yeah. noodles. My brother. We're gonna scoot this off the heat so we don't. What burn did it. you guys have for comfort food? Oh, it is a good recipe for a luncheon. I like that yes, word, absolutely. luncheon. Whoever said that. Mm. It's a so good, good luncheon food. Fried chicken. <laughs> Carrie. Oh, yeah. Carrie, let's hang out. Carrie, we're best friends. Fried chicken. And you know what's crazy? Popeye's got some good fried chicken. Popeye's has some very good fried chicken. I mean, Popeye's down the street. I'm always because I'm always nervous about fast food fried <laughs> chicken, but and those of you who have a Publix near you, a Publix fried chicken, that is some good stuff. Really okay, good. so you guys, if you um, want to give me some ideas for what you want to see on Thursday lasagna. and next week, lasagna's good. Yeah, I, that actually my mom grew up making, well, every once in a while, eggplant parmesan. The lasagna. Does Egg she use the wet mozz? That's a that thing. Means. It's an Italian thing, wet mozz. Yeah, she's Italian, but I don't know what that means. My, she's just not, she didn't use that much. wet mozzarella, like the good boy. Oh, oh, wet mozzarella, yes. Yeah, wet um, I don't know, I don't know what she used. My mother, she didn't teach me, she used I love you, yeah. Mom, but she didn't teach me how to cook. Mine She's probably know. watching. She's probably watching. Homemade me. pizza. Yes, yes. Homemade pizza is amazing. Yeah, homemade pizza is legit. Yeah. My husband makes good homemade pizza. Do you guys pizza. put your pizza on the grill ever? I'm kind of oh, obsessed with it's grilling so pizza. Good. It's delicious. Funny story about that. So I made grilled pizza for a while, and then April's sister came over and had <laughs> my grilled pizza. And then April's sister made grilled pizza. I was like, one of my very good friends makes this, <laughs> and I have a recipe, and April was like, I think that's my good friend that makes that, so. Yeah. We get Girl easily. is good. We get easily confused in this family, what can I say? Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
If you're just catching us at the tail end of the show, when it's over in about five minutes, Facebook will process it and then it'll be available to watch back. When you watch it back, there will be a subscribe button if you don't see one now. And also when it ends, it'll pop up with the subscribe button. We made easy beef stroganoff. The recipe is available on my website, Mama Loves Food, and it is linked in the show notes. You can grab it there. You can also subscribe to my newsletter. Please subscribe um, to this show. We're on Spaceships and Laser Beams right now, Stephanie's page. She's kind enough to let me come on and um, chat with you guys for an hour on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm sorry, on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and then on Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on my Mama Loves Food. So yeah, if you subscribe here, you will get notifications for that. And I really hope we see you again next week. Oh, and I'm going to scoot over because I see there's a few comments. So we're going to see what everyone said before we hop off. Girl, we got a lot of comfort. Sherry says, love you, Erin. Patrick Aww. says, great show, you guys. Kimberly says, first time I've seen the show and I enjoyed it so much. I can't wait for next week. Thank you, Kimberly. Make sure you subscribe so you'll get a notice. Tanya and, and Kimberly, we're on Thursday as well at 830 at Mama Loves Food. So... Um, hopefully we'll see you there too. I know you're Tanya, really gonna make eating. pizza at home for the first time this weekend. Oh, it's so much fun. We love doing it. Mac Better and cheese. Mac and cheese is amazing. Oh, pies. Stacy, you're yeah. like my soul sister. Can we just talk about that? Don, chicken and dumplings. That's my husband's favorite. He loves chicken and dumplings. I don't think I've ever made it. Maybe we should try it for the first time live. That would be kind of fun. Meatballs, <laughs> love meatballs. Deborah says it's her first time watching and she's loving it. Yay! Thank you so much. Kathleen says homemade pizza. Yep. Absolutely. Peanut butter and, wait, peanut butter and butter sandwiches? I have never What's heard of that peanut before. peanut butter and butter sandwich? I'm intrigued. My cousin eats, um. Like a grilled cheese? Peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter instead of cheese? My cousin eats, um, mayonnaise and, uh, you're gonna, mayonnaise and onion sandwiches is hers. <gasps> that sounds like Elvis. Uh, That's like an Elvis stuff. thing. Didn't he eat, like, fried peanut butter? Peanut butter, I think it was peanut butter and bananas, like, right? when he died, right? Like, R&D. No, no, he, I think like, he died on the potty. Hi, Mom. My mom just joined right after we stopped talking about her. Hi, Mom. Aww. I love you. Hello, Diane. Okay. <laughs> just getting into cooking. Made chicken and dumplings with cream of chicken Girl, soup and two biscuits. Ooh, that's a really good idea. All right. So thank you. Okay, I'm going to scoot back into the frame. Thank you so much for joining us. Yay, April, Erin. Um, Stephanie is not here, but she's letting us use her page. And um, thank you, Jenny. I'm so glad you joined us. Oh, uh, Tanya says instead of jelly. So peanut butter and butter instead of jelly. That's interesting, Tanya. Very interesting. Whoa, Tanya, Shannon that's says hardcore. she grew up with butter on her PBJs too. What? Hi, mom. That's a thing. <laughs> Apparently it is. Your moms are better than our awesome. moms. Oh, my mom I says she made our fajita rice casserole tonight. Yay, that's exciting. Yum, Diane, All right. please bring some over. <laughs> I am in your neighborhood now. I was talking about you, Mom. Nothing bad. I love you. I got, We'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you on Thursday. Have a great night, and please subscribe.